I living in Boulder Vlog March 23rd, 2020, Monday, 7.58 a.m. Yesterday, last night, afternoon, I got up at 6, but I was laying in bed for a couple hours before that. Um, and I was up until 10, so six hours of sleep, eight hours downtime, but then I work. So I work about 16 hours a day average, I sleep about six hours a day, and then I have my two hours downtime in the morning when I wake up. That's about how it works out. It's a good steady marathon pace. Oh, let me do my song. That's just one of them. I have so many songs. So, um, yesterday, the only thing that I done gone did was, um, um, Plutarch Morale on my website. Um, I did drag all these, you know, books from LibriVox onto my computer. I mean, onto my external from my computer. That's the one thing that I did. Um, and then I deleted them off my computer. Um, yesterday, as far as the audiobook, but yeah, everything else was just the, uh, the book, you know, to put on my website. <sighs> Cause what I do is I get every single book in the world until the year 650 on my website. And if I find one that I plop it on, I thought I had every of you of Plutarch, but I didn't know. And so the new one called Moralia, I'm super, super, super excited to listen to. I was, or after I built it, I was listening to it over the last couple of hours. I did like the first four chapters um, on LibriVox, which was already on my computer. So I don't know how it was on my computer and I didn't know it was on my <laughs> website. But um, 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 I think I'm going to learn it a lot better if I have my computer read it to me. You know, like there's certain advantages of having the person read it to you and there's advantages of having the computer read it to you. And I'll include that in a video later on my main channel. But when you have people read it to you, I, I suppose that would be better to if you were to go on a big bike ride, you know, because it would help you capture your attention better when a person does it because they inflect and it's a person and they're thinking about what they're reading and it helps you helps you keep your concentration. Uh, an advantage of having the computer read it to you is that you get through the book faster because it generally talks faster, you know, like the, when the book talks, when you have it on like double speed or the speed that I have, it's about, it talks about the same fast speed as I talk when I'm talking fast, which is perfect. When people read books, they don't read as fast as I do. I wish they did, but, um, but, but I mean, actually I don't necessarily wish they did. I wish that would be so I could have an experience, but most of the people, um, go at a good pace. It's good to do it at a slower pace because you can think. But, um, but the, the main reason that I need to do it with my computer is because I need to zero in. I need to know what they're talking about and zero in on the certain chapters. And they don't really, they don't do that with LibriVox. You can't see, it doesn't label this. It just says like chapter 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2. It doesn't say chapter of, I could write it in, but I'm not going to. It's easier. I don't have the time. It's easier to just, you know, do it on my, uh, have my website read to it. So, <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, I was just reading, watching just lots of different, you know, YouTube videos. I was, uh, you know, like brain candy stuff. I'm watching some dude talking about fighting. Some guy, Ramsey Dewey. Um, um, those, that's a really popular genre on YouTube, MMA fighters and stuff. Um, I'm not like an MMA fan or anything like that, but it's just something I watch on YouTube. Actually, I do have a fighters page on my website though. So I do want to get into that stuff later, but my, but you know, I don't want to, I only want to get into it when I get into it with somebody else. I would never do that, get into it by myself because I don't have the money or the time to go to like a gym or whatever, I'd be a, 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 like a, a, a dojo or whatever. And my roommate doesn't do that stuff. So I guess I'll wait till I like get married or whatever, but, um, or, <sighs> or have a cooperative friend. I haven't had a hit of my um, Advera for like days. I think I may have magically healed my asthma. It's unbelievable with this, with essential oils. 
My mom was gonna deliver some more ones. She wanted to know which ones I got, so I don't I don't know which is in here. I'm gonna talk to her about it today. Later on, she was gonna bring stuff by yesterday. I went there. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, I mean, all I was doing yesterday was building, um, you know, that book, and I'm still building it now. It's you know, it's really big. I don't know how big it is. It's hard to believe that it's only 350 pages. Maybe it it didn't somehow it didn't collect all of it or something. It seems bigger than that, but. <laughs> I'll figure it out when I'm done, but uh, how big it is, but yeah, just lots of, I think it's 77 different topics that they talk about, like labeled topics that you can choose from, so on the book, so that's great, and it's all opinions, you know, it's like philosophers getting together and talking opinions, I mean, Plutarch, yesterday I was talking about how he was Roman, well, he was a Roman citizen, but he was actually Greek, um, he lived from 46 to one, uh, 120, I uh, died at 74, um, but, dude, Plutarch is a hard... I mean, I haven't even read the whole thing, but Plutarch is a full-blown philosopher, dude. From Greek. It's like you got Plato, Aristotle, and freaking Plutarch. That's super smart. And he does, like, the dialogue stuff, kind of like how Plato does. So, yeah, it's amazing. Um, so... <laughs> so what's motivating me to finish the book? Um, I... Um, I, uh, um, uh, um, yeah, so that's all I'm doing. I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to finish that because I wanted to get back to the audio history book and, I mean, um, and finish that stuff and organize the files on my computer. You know, I'm getting a little bit bogged down. That's why I don't do YouTube videos anymore. I was doing them before, but I finally just got to the point where I had way too many open projects on my website. And it just filled my, my brain and just it was going to get too stressful. I couldn't, I can't, I can't do too many things at the same time. If I was less high, I could. Um, and I'm going to sober up pretty soon. I haven't smoked weed for days, but of course you have to wait like a month for it to get out of your system. And I've quit for good now because of this coronavirus. And I don't think <sighs> this coronavirus is going to go anytime soon. Um, I guess the, the virus of 1918, 1919 went away. But um, we have a more interconnected society now. So, you know, um, you can't isolate people as much because there's more, there's just people freaking everywhere. So maybe it's just out there for good. And then what happens when the next virus, even worse, comes along? It's better to just strengthen your immune system, you know? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, I'm a reefer. But after a month of not reefer, I think I, I, it's a really good chance that I'll start doing videos all the time on my main channel because the only thing that made me stop was not smoking reefer i'm pretty sure oh yeah but then also i just having too much damn stuff doing it going on so yeah i just want to get done with that I, I, I don't know how much longer though because i don't know how much longer until i'm done with this book i was saying until on, on sunday for that other stuff but that's before i found found out about the book i didn't even know it existed um so um um but yeah, after that, it's connecting all the philosophers on my website uh, from books to book. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time. Maybe I'll get all motivated and have and like throw in some more modern philosophers like Rousseau, because I I love this idea of connecting all the philosophers together. And you know, Rousseau and those guys, if they uh, they were mentioning that you know he connects, he he referenced Plutarch. So if they rep the, the philosophers who reference the classic philosophers a lot. I don't want to put them on my website so I can make the links, you know, like Montesquieu references Plato 60, 56 times in his 1200 page book. So, um, um, yeah, so that's basically what I'm up to all day today. Oh yeah. So yeah, last night, cause I've been, I've been working since, uh, six o'clock yesterday. Last night I did sleep for like an hour or two. I just, I just had trouble keeping my eyes open, so I, I got on my belly, and then I wasn't tired anymore, so I got up. So I might have enough juice left over in my body to get me all day long. I won't be getting to sleep at 10 or, or 12, although I'll be getting to sleep tonight. So I, this might do the, be the day that I diurnalize, because I kind of got myself a little bit sleep yesterday to be able to get me through today. I don't know. So anyways, we're almost at 10 minutes tomorrow. Who knows? Hopefully I'll be done with this book and I'll be back to the audio history books. Have a good one. Stay alive.